in this video i want to show you how to set up a referral snapshot now this is very important because from what alex and Moti say referral and word of mouth is one of the strongest and biggest client acquisition channel that you can ever invest on because scaling a referral campaign is actually an exponential effect instead of a linear effect i'm going to show you the workflow and the exact setup that we have in our business and it's really simple guys and uh, let's dive into it in the computer here. So we're gonna start off with you accepting a payment. So you're actually onboarding your first customer. And the next thing that you wanna do is send them an onboarding and welcome email. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much a sequence of email that tell them, hey, welcome to my program, welcome to my services. I'm really glad that you joined and here's the step and the checklist that you should follow to onboard yourself effectively so that our team can help and serve you at their best. So what you can do guys is that you can separate the request referral workflow or you can mix it with the onboarding workflow. It's the same, we actually mix it together. So one day they get the onboarding email and another day they get a ref referral request uh, message, right? So, um, after they going through all of this, you know, obviously you, you get sent to your prospect or your client. I mean, you don't have to really send it to the client. If um, if a prospect say no, they can't be a part of your program, then you can also send a request referral uh, workflow to them because they might know someone who can actually join your program. Um, I'm not opposed to sending it to a non-client prospect for sure. And once they fill in the form here, right, and then the automation start kick in and start the introduction workflow saying, hey, I just reached out to you because your friend here just referred us and uh, let's have a chat, right? So let's actually show you the inside setup of what that looked like. I'm gonna give you an SOP here so you can actually follow and set this up on your own uh, without having to buy any snapshot or even our snapshot, right? But if you're interested on getting this snapshot into your account, make sure that uh, you get a 30 day trial or upgrade to the 497 using the link below all right so first we want to start to get to know the funnel right we only have one funnel here and we name it as the cashback funnel because that's the angle that we want to uh, refer people to um, and the first thing that you want to do with the funnel is that you want to set up the domain you want to publish it and then you want to put any tracking code if you need to so you can retarget and uh, repixel them and then you want to update any content such as logo uh, business information and all that stuff and then you want to select the cashback form into all of the element on the page and this is what it looked like on go high level um, so you want to head over to site and you can see here is the cashback funnel right and I want to show you what that actually looked like. It say, help someone you know start a no-code software business while making money from it. P.S. They also will get a discount. So it's really just incentivize both party to um, to drop the name there. And um, yeah, and there's there's also a pop-up that say make introduction here. Um, so let's let's just fill out the name here. We're gonna fill out Vico. And let's say I referred my friend and her, my friend name is Vico and my name is, let's say my name is John, right? My name is John, I'm referring Vico to this business, all right? And I'm gonna click refer now, okay? And what, what you see is that this funnel have more than just one step, okay? It has two, three steps. And um, the next step we're saying, thank you, we received your referral uh, detail. Do you have any more people that you wanna add to this list? We recommend referring at least three friends because there's a one out of three acceptance rate. So, um, and it's just the same form, right? So let's say um, we're gonna give this guy a, a second name, we call Vico um, version two right, Vico version two, and it's gonna be a different email, Vico at test.com, and we're gonna give it also a different phone number as well, okay? We're giving it a different phone number so it can create a different contact on high level, and this time it's also referred by John, ref by the same referral, and you click next, right? So that's gonna be our second lead of all of our client. So the funnel basically keep asking them to refer another person until they reach three or four referral. Now, it actually have four steps and you can see here the thank you page. Um, after they refer the third person, it says thank you for recommendation. We have received all of your three referral and we'll reach out to them shortly. You can exit this page if you want to or you can continue to refer other people and I just have this form again. Really, this is what the funnel is and this is what gets sent to people, right? This is pretty much this stage, right? We have it in here and this is the request referral workflow. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we're gonna head over to automation here and we're going to go to um, workflow request, uh, referral request, okay? It's a first name, team up with your friend 
and turn the dream into a reality. Refer someone to join us today and you make $200 to $500 in cash back today. Um, and then refer your friend here, which is the funnel link that you just saw, right? It's pretty much this, um, this custom value is this link. They would click on this link and they would open the funnel that we just saw a few minutes back. And then it's also send them on an email as well. So it send them email and SMS and then it wait and then it send them another email and SMS. So our system is going to continue and ask them and you can set an automation if they fill in the form, you can remove them from this workflow. All right. So um, that's pretty much it's the request. Um, we we'll normally request people when they come on board to our service, um, they become a paying client. So it would be easy to ask them to request because they must have trust you by then the fact that they are actually paying you. And after they filling in the form, for example, if they fill in the name, phone number and email here and referred by their name, they will get at to this workflow. So first of all, the contact of the lead will get created. So the name, email, phone number here is the detail of the lead and it will create a new contact on our high level account. And this is happened when the form is being submitted, right? You can see here and then they get tagged, right? We'll put that in here as well. Uh, they get tagged, they get great opportunity, they get internal notification, they get add to a bot workflow. Um, which also um, have a conversation AI pull out and then they get add to the conversation AI workflow. So basically we have um, our AI bot having a conversation with this lead that being created. So as you can see here, this is the actual workflow conversation AI slash referral. So it's, it's pretty much have, hey, is this contact name? I have got your number from a mutual friend and then this is the uh, referral by custom field. So whatever name that they put in here will appear in here. So for example, in this case, it would be John. I got your phone number from a mutual friend, John. They have recommended us to have a chat about starting a no-code SaaS side hustle. It's now a good time to chat quickly. So this is the SMS that gets sent out from the referral bot. And then depending on whether they answer or not, um, the bot would do its job. The bot will have a conversation with them answering any question or actually follow up if they don't reply. Now we have a conversation AI training video. We're not going to go through too much of that in this video, but if you want to check that out, make sure that you check the link in the description or somewhere around this video right now. But that's pretty much it. After that guy will put them into an email nurturing sequence. It could be any nurturing sequence you want, just like really warm up the lead and nurture the lead to know more about your products and your services. And the last thing that you want to do guys is head over to custom value and put the URL of the cashback funnel into the custom value so that all of this text, all of this email actually work. It's actually work and it's lead to your cashback funnel. And guys, that's pretty much the entire workflow. I do want to highlight that the last one here, the introduction workflow is powered by conversation AI, but you do not have to have conversation AI for sure. You can have a generic SMS template workflow that say, Hey, um, I just got your number from a mutual friend. Let's have a chat and then just have a workflow that is fixed. It doesn't have to be a conversation AI. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure that you smash the like button and drop in the comment if you have any other question. This is obviously a very simple workflow. However, if you think there's any improvement that we can do in terms of this snapshot or this workflow, make sure that you drop in the comment or ask any question or simply just write any question you have about this particular setup and let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.